Yeah, Fox 44 Sydney Simone is live at his watch party in New Orleans and she is joined by Congressman Troy Carter. Hey, Sydney. That's right. I'm in the Weston Hotel here here in New Orleans at Sean Wilson's watch party. It is a packed house and right now I'm standing next to Congressman Troy Carter. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Thank you for joining us. So first question is how likely is this race to head into a runoff? Listen, it's very close. Uh, turnout has been dismal as uh, throughout the entire state. We remain hopeful that there'll be a runoff. Uh, Dr. Wilson did well in New Orleans. Uh, the turnout was very, very low. So um, we, like everyone else now, are just waiting to see what the results are. Of course, we're cautiously optimistic that there will be a runoff. And of course, with the runoff, the deck is reshuffled. And uh, Sean has an opportunity to take his message to the people, which I think will resonate. Now, if we do head into a runoff, what do you think um, would be a, a focus point for Wilson? Unity. Someone that has the ability to, to bring people together and not to polarize. Uh, Sean has that reputation of working throughout the entire state, building relationships, um, demonstrating the ability to represent Republicans, Democrats, and others, representing the ability to go throughout all of the parish of the state of Louisiana and, and bring good news uh, and even bad news when he has to. He's been a great partner for me in Washington with infrastructure. As you know, we passed the infrastructure bill, $1.2 trillion, which Louisiana has been a beneficiary of a, a large chunk of that. Dr. Wilson has been the architect going through all the parishes, working on roads and bridges and flood projects that are very important to the people of Louisiana. Now, uh, what, er what area in Louisiana um, has been the biggest turnout for Wilson this evening, if you know? Orleans Parish. Orleans Parish clearly is, is the largest, and it has not performed at the level that we would have liked. It certainly hasn't performed at the level it did four or eight years ago, um, which really kind of puts everything in a, in a challenged position because there was so much competing. With LSU's game, you've got Southern's football game, you've got Grambling's football game, and of course you've got the New Orleans Saints. A number of people have gone to Houston for that game or gone to other parts of the state for a football game. We also know that early voting was low. We hoped that it would be much higher, that people would have voted before they went to the sporting events. It doesn't look like that happened. Well, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank you. Reporting live for your local election headquarters, I'm Sydney Simone.